As some of you may know me, some of you may not. First, I'm an international student from China. When I was young, there were a lot of people asking me that what was my dream or what I'm going to be in the future. I told them, I will be a lawyer, I will be a doctor, I will be a teacher, but I never know. You know, it's been a huge question for me that what I can do and what I want to do until I realized, you know, she is more powerful than we thought and we can accomplish everything we want. In the spirituality way, there is something we can do beyond our ideas. Let's start with my own experiences. I was a shy kid in my elementary school from first to third grade. I barely talk in my class. I think there are only a few people know me, and I'm poor academically. Teachers think, this kid is dumb. He may not end up going to, go to high school. He probably go to a technical school from high school, and then become a worker. Uh, I, that's what I thought when I was young. I, I, I told my mom, mom, I'm not smart. Should I still like learning the class? Like, is that who I am? My mom told me that, you know what, kid? You are better than you thought. You're the smartest kid ever seen on the planet. We all know that's a lie. Well, you know what? I believed. And there was a chance in my third grade, I went to America for a trip. Back to then, no one knows what America was like, my teacher was like. Only a few of us have been to another country. Can you share your experiences with us? It's like, it's alright, it's not a big deal, it's just a story, right? I prepared a little bit, I kind of talked to my mom like this. Well, at the day of my speech, I realized there are 30 happy people in front of me as the audience is. I was like, what? I was not prepared. Well, surprisingly, I finished better than I thought. My teacher was like, you know what, David? That's your talent. That's who you are. You can probably do better than what you are doing right now. So I tried, you know, the agreement's up, and everything goes much better than before. That was the change point of my life. After a couple of years, it was the eighth grade, I went to America a second time. I've been to a boarding school in New Haven. That boarding school was really good. I had immersion experiences in the classroom, and I realized that might be the class, the school, the partner of education I'm looking for. I told my mom, like, mom, my I like go to America for high school probably. My mom said, Yes, I don't know if any of us have done that, but if you want, you can try. I was like, yes, I can do this. I told my teacher, I told my friend. He says, no, you know what, David, I know you are smart, but none of us have ever done that. I never heard of it. Like, how would that be possible that you fly the half of planet to another country that you never, you never like, stayed there and never lived there? And none of the family members have been there. Well, I said, you see, after a couple months, not so long, I learned English. My English was not very good, but back then, you know, it was enough. I had an interview with Archmir, I got in. I came to such an interesting place where I can do everything I want, where I have a bigger world. It's my personal experiences, and I realized, you know, and more powerful than I thought. There are also some of my friends, even though my parents told me that, you know, money is a king. If you have money, you buy house, you buy racing cars, you can buy a Ferrari. <laughs> Everything you want. You have a trip around the world, have a fun vacations, but is that the most important thing in your life? Just for me, that was what I thought. That's why I thought I'll be a doctor, I'll be a lawyer, 
But do you want the doctor in front of you who do surgery, the guy who just want money from you? Not for me. So I study a lot until I read a story about Solomon, the ruler of Athens, back to ancient Athens career. He was very successful politically. He developed some interesting political patterns, made Athens prosperous. Until he retired, he went for a trip, he went to Libya. There was a king. The king told him, Oh, Solomon, you are so smart, you are wise. Can you tell me who is the happiest guy in the world? Are there even anyone happier than me? I have all those money, the huge palace, all those slaves. So is that king, you are happy? You are rich, but sorry king, you are not the happiest person in the world. You know who is happier than you? Tell us, a young man in Athens who respects his parents being a good sibling and die for the country in a war where everyone respects him and people cry at his funeral but I'm sorry Mr. King it's not the children the king was there I'll suffer you are not as smart as I thought I mean why would you say that like that? that would never happen not until a couple years later there was a war rebuilding the king of all his money, all his palace, all his slaves, and all his power. He was sick on the bed and yelled to Solomon's name. He said, Solomon, you are so right. Now I lost everything I've owned and look back to my life. There's nothing I've done, nothing I've gained. Everything I got is this money and now I lost them. I lost everything, and then he closed his eyes forever. That's why Solomon said, in the world, the wicked racer and the kind hanger. Well, I will never exchange my status with theirs, because I know money changes the owners every day. I know there are some teachers there, you may say like, you're a teenager, you don't know about money. Money is very important. I understand. If you're like middle age, you're 40, 50, you have three kids, come to such expensive school like Archmere, you got to pay for the tuition, maybe your parents is sick, they need money. Yes, that's true. But don't like that. Locked your man, your heart, to become who you desire to be. Don't let your desire lead your emotion. Let's take a moment to think. If what we are doing right now, what we want, what we desire, what, is that make what we want to be in the future? I think for me, part of it. For you guys, I think so. Probably some of, the, some of you guys do. I just want to tell you guys that the life is short. Every single moment we can leave the world. Today I read the news: 132 people died from air from airplane crash. What if I'm one of them? I leave the world. What I have left for the world? What will people say at my funeral? How will people remember me? I ask myself. Therefore, I hope everyone can do what you desire and what you want. Don't restrict by others' judgment or others' opinion. They may not be right. You could be right. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Thank you.